All right, just checking out my camera. Somebody said my camera wasn't working right, so I'm gonna do a little short video here. Don't look too good. Let me start wiping the lens off. Somebody said they couldn't believe my camera still worked, so maybe they cursed it. I don't know. What do you think, Black Cat? Let's add a Black Cat in the picture and see if we can make the camera work better. So anyway, we didn't get a whole lot done today. Uh, worked on the dreaded sharks. Uh, Mako Man was here. And uh, he wants these done by Wednesday. So Hans put them on these sweet little stands here for me. And uh, yeah, been sanding on those. 180 them all out again. Rebonded all the little gill areas. It's uh, never ending. But I guess it'll all be over Wednesday. Here's the chassis. It's uh, looking pretty good. I'm gonna get back and uh, get back to working on this. Maybe tonight, do some seam sealing and uh, scuff this up and put our uh, Rapture liner down. Somebody asked me why I didn't just go right from uh, X Prime to uh, why I didn't just go from X Prime to the uh, Rapture liner. And uh, mainly, I just he wants the tunnel all shiny and uh the bulkhead so i put the etch on there and then i went with this urethane paint i figured it would be uh better to go ahead and seam seal over than just etch primer because it just doesn't have a lot of fill and i really didn't want to epoxy primer it you know because i would epoxy it painted it and etched it so this way uh i don't know you know there's a hundred way to do things but uh, this is how I wanted it. All the seat rails be nice and shiny this way, and uh, it's just added protection, I guess. So there's not really a cost issue on this one. So I guess if I was saving money, you know, I know a lot of the guys are going right to the edge to the uh, Rapture liner, and that's probably fine with no problems. But uh, I just had some seam sealing to do, and the uh, catalyzed seam sealer. They like you to use the 2K to put it over the top of. So with the etch, you know, being a non-catalyzed product, I didn't want to, you know, put the seam sealer over the etch. So I'm just going to treat this like it's a primer surface, you know, just like a urethane primer. So that's where we're at on that. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll go ahead and make this short so I can uh, see how the camera's working. And uh, I got my new computer back. And uh, we'll see how it's uploading the videos. And uh, hopefully I'll get my uh, dragon on there now. I got plenty of memory. It's like a rocket ship. It's all uh, new and shiny with big letters. And uh, yeah, it's working really good. So talk to Gaden, IT guy. Of course, he's my computer guy, you know, and uh, he's my uh, buddy that I race this car with. And uh, we're going to the track next Friday. So we'll have some new video to post up on the uh, the page there. I got one video that I moved all the way from the old section up into the new section. You have to go to my uh, channel page, and it's the first video there. Uh, it's a 1070 pass, shutting the car off. But we had some alignment issues. We think we have those straightened out now, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take it out there, wash it up, and uh, take it out for a little spin next Friday night. So. I'll get you guys some shot of that. We got three GoPros to put on it, so it'd be pretty cool to check that out. And yeah, I tell you, these sharks have to go bye-bye by Thursday, so we'll be working on those more this week. And uh, these stands make it a little easier. He wanted me to paint them today for them, but you know, they're black, so they need to be primed one more time. And uh, all that good stuff. So, all right, so I'm gonna keep this short. Gotta go get a refrigerator. Refrigerator went out, so, you know, no food, three kids, it can be a problem, so, yeah. So, anywho, I'll throw that in for Chris, because I know you like that, anywho. I guess we're gonna go get a refrigerator. And we're gonna take the Super Doo Doo and uh, load the whole family in there and, uh, Go get us a fridge. So, all right, I'm just taking a little, uh, you know, outside video. 
it looks pretty good to me now it was a little uh liney earlier i don't know what that is i'm sure somebody will tell me somebody said they were surprised the camera still worked last night and uh why would you drop it or something i didn't watch that whole video no i didn't drop it just because i spray with it in the booth all the time and then some guy told me my camera was messing up what do you got there this was in a bag from your mom or my mom with some coupons do you have any idea what this is or why i have it mm. wow that looks like a beryllium spear muffler bearing i'm not sure why you have that in that bag like that but yeah you better put that down It'd be dangerous with those screws. <laughs> All right, guys, let me shut this off and see all the computer uploads.